Okay, guys, I think we are on, but I'm not sure. I'm going to wait for confirmation from any viewer who've just joined us. If you can hear me, I'm talking from this microphone, then let me know in the chat section. Not in the comments if you're watching live, but in the chat, sec in the chat, in the chat section. And I'm going to hopefully see whether anyone can hear me. I, I can't see anyone typing anything right now. So I'm not going to start until I get confirmation that someone is actually hearing me. <coughs> Uh, JLSN Juma Mubarak, okay. Um, great Friday. Um, I'm not going to say these words, it's a different story, but I hope you're having a, mashallah, a very good Juma. Alhamdulillah. Um, can you hear me, JLSN? If you can hear me, can you let me know in the chat section whether. Okay, I think we got. Con okay, thank you for confirmation. So. Welcome to The Verge, how to build a gaming PC or a PC. Just trolling and just for that, you guys deserve to give me a sub and a like. Because we, we I'm just trolling, this is not The Verge and I'm hoping we're not, be, we're not gonna become the next Verge of how to build a PC. Maybe we might be worse, maybe we might be better, I don't know. You guys have voted for a live stream of me putting this PC into this case. I don't know why. I didn't expect you guys wanted a live session. This is going to go potentially very wrong. And I hope, you know, we don't do too much of a bad job. If it goes very, very wrong, we're just going to off everything. So if you're new here, my name is Ash from Heal My Tech. And if you want to uh, unleash your potential, start by subscribing, enable the bell notification icon so I can help you go from newbie to techie. Now, this series is going to be part 18 of One PC Through Them All Challenge series. The show where I give you full responsibility to decide every aspect of this next PC build for 2019. We're trying to triple boot Windows, Linux, and Mac OS onto the same system. And uh, usually at the end of uh, every video of this series part, we put out a vote uh, we put out a poll for you guys to vote in the community tab. So go to the link below if you're watching this not live and see whether there's a vote for you guys to vote on, okay? If there's a poll for you to vote on. Now, if you've been following me, uh, first of all, let me tell you how it's going to work. I've got a camera. It's a webcam filming this live stream right now, and we're going to talk in this microphone. But we're going to bring the camera over. I'm going to stick it there for a top-down view when we do the actual uh, assembly into the PC build. What I want you guys to do, I'm going to keep an eye on the chat section. If you are um, logged in, please tell me your name. Tell me where you are from. Tell me what you're doing right now. And tell me what would you like to learn from this session. Also, what I want you to do before every step, just to make this more engaging, I want you to write in the section what you think I should do first and next. And I will keep checking. I might make mistakes. I might learn something from you. For the most part, this is not my first time building a PC. I should know what I'm doing. But this is the first time we're doing this live. And, and I keep leaning this way. You know? <clears throat> I think, I hope my camera person is catching me. Okay, brilliant. Now, um, so tell me what do you think the next step should be? Also, we've got a screen here. The half of the screen, this is my OBS. So I can see what I'm doing. And on the left, obviously, this is where I can see your chats. So I'm going to keep this window on. When we have to do certain um, adjustments to the camera, I'm going to play you something here. Let me show you, which is a part 13 of this PC build. And I'm going to switch the camera to full screen. So you're going to have this in the background. This, by the way, is part 13 when we did this first assembly already before. And we have also done a post test. This is a very important step to do. Do not skip that step. So if you've not watched that before, you can go and watch that afterwards, after you know the live stream. But the um, video is kind of a B-roll to play back. So let me, and I think I'm just talking, I'm not realizing that we should be here. I was just talking and I forgot that we're actually showing the B-roll. Okay, so I hope you're ready. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is, uh, let me have my assistant come in. Assistant, do you wanna come in? The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to switch that the that input to HDMI. And uh, the reason we're doing this right now is to show you that this PC that we did outside and if my p camera person can oh we can't see. Now this PC we have just uh, turned it on outside of the case before we put it in the case and that's because 
I want to make sure that b um, since we tested the post and until today, I'm not just gonna blindly put this inside there. What if something went wrong in between and I would have wasted time? So I would advise you, if there is a delay between the time you check for a post outside of the box and the day that you're actually gonna put it inside the case, make sure you turn it on, check for posts like you see, we got the Linux uh, bootable drive in there and we know it's working, we had one beep, so fantastic, I'm ready to go. So we're gonna off this. And while I'm offing this, um, we'll shut this down, I'll switch over to the correct input for you guys again. So we can see what's happening on the screen. And we're gonna start dismantling all of this. And let me just have a quick check on your chat. I'll answer some questions before we start. Okay, I'm gonna say hello to everyone. Ernesty, hello. Ahmed Amansur, hi sir. Please don't call me sir. Ash is fine, okay? Or granddaddy, but not sir. And uh, Darklight, assalam. What's salam, Darklight? Darklight, that's kind of controversial, isn't it? Okay, okay. Can you show us how to overclock? Ernesty, I will definitely be showing you how to overclock. Not today. Today is just the initial stage. We have, I will show you guys everything that I know that I have learned over the last five years of being a tech repair person. Everything that I know in terms of a computer build. This is why we're doing this series. And like you know, we've already done 17 parts. I've taught you everything I know for these 17 parts. And now we're going to teach you everything that I know for this building series. Okay, so don't worry, it will come. Uh, Wiley with 7PT. Hello, are you the normal IT guy that builds PCs or do you actually know more about electronics and the components themselves? I need help about that. Now, YT Lewis, I would not call myself an expert in electronics. I am not an electronics engineer. Um, I can dabble. I can do some sort of troubleshooting on a board, but I am not good enough to do a full diagnostics using a multimeter. Not a full one, some of it. So I would not really be able to tell you, uh, you know, deep end stuff on an electronics board. For that, we, we hopefully will have another upcoming series after the PC build one. Uh, Sid Sharma, yep, correct. Uh, what are we correct about Sid? I don't know, okay, let me know. Hilmatech, can you make bootable Mac OS on USB in Windows? Um, this is something I haven't done yet and we have to do this. Yes, I will make a third bootable disk drive and can we make it on Windows? Well, that's a question you're gonna have to find out. Can we do it? Stay tuned because we absolutely need to do this. Okay, but I've done for Windows and Linux already. You can watch the videos. And you can call me Kenny Stealing 5000. Kenny! Oh my God! They kill Kenny! Hope that's not you. Okay, I no problem, why Lewis? All right, thank you. We'll get cracking, right. So while I give you some B-roll of part 13, we, I'm gonna just adjust the camera and feel free to tell me what you guys are doing and I will check the chat later. Um, and uh, while we adjust this, so first I'm gonna disconnect all of that stuff. Actually, no, do you know what? Let's go back here. Okay, what I'm gonna do now first is we're gonna disconnect all of this. As usual, guys, if you're gonna build a PC, make sure you are statically protected. You know, you don't want to make any, any cause any problem. So have something you can touch that is connected but turned off, or wear an anti-risk bracelet. Again, if you're not sure, do not attempt this. This is tutorial purpose. I'm not telling you to do this if you're not unsure. Contact a professional. So we're offing our power supply right now. If my camera person could come a bit closer so we can show all of this. Okay. I'm gonna but I'm gonna leave this connected but it's off because I want to touch it and maybe my camera person shouldn't shake that much okay we're not doing any dance competition right now are we camera person all right are we smirking as long as you don't fart because this microphone will pick up all the farts and it's a modern one you might even pick up the smell who knows all right guys I'm just gonna disconnect everything now you don't want to leave your graphics card in there maybe we'll switch uh, camera person because I think my other camera person is a bit more adept to do this kind of stuff um, Just give me a second. So what I mean is the graphics card. You should not leave it on there. So let's disconnect everything T uh, Let my cam other camera person take over because they can show the parts. They know what we're talking about um, Disconnect the 8 pin and the 6 pin too close too close All right And then also we want to disconnect the 24 pin motherboard, okay? And we want to also disconnect the 8-pin CPU, right? We're still working on the board. You know, the motherboard box, it's very handy to keep. 
Now, um, I'm going to leave this connected like I to discharge myself every now and then, okay? You need to give a name to a camera person. Right, uh, we have one camera person is Glove. Glove, like a glove. The other one hasn't given me a name yet. So we'll call him X for now. Okay, to disconnect the... Um, what's that called? What's this called? The graphics card. I should know this. I build computers. <laughs> There's a little clip at the bottom. You've got to press that down. And that's pressed. And you can disconnect that. Okay? Show that clip. This was the clip that you have to press down before you pull this off. So now keep this separate. Alright. So, if I'm going to show you anything right now, I'm going to show you the motherboard. So, you know, we have the speaker cable for testing and we've got the switch, right? But we can take off the switch. I'm going to leave the speaker cable for now because it doesn't interfere with anything else. Now, the, of course, the USB for Linux drive I don't need right now. So what you have left on there is our processor and the cooler. We've got the RAM stick, got the speaker cable. What I think I would do before I put anything in the case, I would advise you to put as much as you can on the motherboard outside of the case before you put things in the case. However, without putting so much that you can't manipulate stuff, okay? Oh, GPU. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Kenny. GPU. Yeah, GPU. Actually, you're wrong. This is not called the GPU. This is called the graphics card. Tell me, guys, do you know the difference between the GPU and the graphics card? Quiz question. Whoever gets it right, get something from me. Maybe a well wishing or a chocolate. Who knows? Right. Difference. Write down in the comments, uh, in the chat section right now. What is the difference between GPU and a graphics card? And if you're watching this not live, I want you to put it in the comment section below and then I will give you the answer later if I'm correct. Go on. <clears throat> right, so I'm gonna move this over to my bench. So I'll keep touching this later. My voice is drying up. There we go. Now, GPU is the processor in the graphics card. Close enough. What does it stand for? GPU. And it's me, Night Core. Britech. Oh, Britech. Guys, we have Britech09. Britech, welcome. He's a big YouTuber. Britech is one of my first teachers on YouTube. Go to his channel, check his stuff out. He is fantastic. He's got so much uh, knowledge. And I've learned a few things from him, I have to be honest. And recently I commented on one of his videos and he's not sure whether I'm trolling or not. So Britek, Brian, correct? I'm still not going to tell you if I was trolling or not, yeah? So you won't find out. But thank you so much. Go and uh, check his channel out. Well worth subscribing. Like I said, one of my early teachers because I studied from YouTube University. Okay. <coughs> right. Graf graphics processing unit. Fantastic. Yes. And... Uh, Correct, so the GPU is actually just a chip. The graphics card is just graphics cards because you can have a GPU on a processor, which means that's an APU, okay? And on some motherboards, you can have a GPU on the motherboard itself. Fantastic. Okay, no worries, Britek, Brian, anytime. Bro, listen, if ever you want to collab someday, I think me and you we can do something, yeah? I don't know, maybe I can teach you how to cook. You can teach me some computer stuff. What do you say? Hit me up, bro. You're in the UK, right? So hit me up. Okay, what are we doing now? Uh... Right, so let's get the case out. We're going to put this away safely, okay? And by safely, I mean on the freaking floor. Let's bring over the case. This is the Fractal Design R5. And while I'm going to let you play the B-roll, I'm going to just transfer over the camera to get you some B-roll screen while we set up the uh, camera. And I still talk. I can still see you um, in the chat, so feel free to just drop down anything you need. And I will answer you as much as I can. Now uh, guys, if this goes very wrong, because I've never done this, it's a bit daunty, then we'll stop it, but we'll have to kind of redo it. But I hope you can bear with me, be a bit patient. This is very difficult to do live, I can promise you. And I think Britic could um, could potentially, um, you know, uh, probably second that even if you've built computers so many times, you can always make mistakes and live will be even worse. Okay.
so just had some drink of water uh, how to add SSD okay thank you how to add SSD well I would also say at this stage there's one thing I forgot I have an M.2 SATA drive with me so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna just have to put that on and this is the slot for it and where's my M.2 SATA I think I need my assistance here if my assistance could come that'd be great um, this is the crucial one terabyte M.2 SATA NVMe guys be very wary that there are and there are kind of these formats which is just a normal SSD and not an NVMe so when you when you are going to buy make sure you are, if you are getting an NVMe it has to be NVMe much more uh, obviously much more speedy yeah see the live stuff man that's crazy uh, nice of a hot shot love it Thanks, Britek. This is just like a webcam and this is just my fixed position. So we're trying to do this. Um, right. Now, there's, there's a small screw that comes with it. Okay. Where is it? Oops. We're going to put the screw in that slot here and screw it down here somewhere. So let me find the screw. And that was part of the motherboard. Now, um, in terms of the order of what you should do first, that's really up to you. There's no kind of right or wrong way, but there's certain best practices that you should do. So like I mentioned before, make sure you try and connect as much stuff on the motherboard as you can. Let me touch to discharge myself. And here's the NVMe slot. I'm going to insert it in there. Actually, I've never put a, a slot for the NVMe. I hope I'm doing the right thing. If you guys think I'm messing up, feel free to tell me that I'm messing up. Uh, is that the right way? It wasn't the right way. I was putting the wrong way. That's terrible. Okay. Where the heck is it going? Yeah, I got it. Okay, top slot. Push it in. Push it down. And then we grab the small screw. Okay. And all you'll need for this really is just a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, that should be okay. And you shouldn't need any other tools. Obviously, I've done a 40 parts that you need to build a PC. You can watch the video there. Any of these other stuff will be additional. And now I'm shaking, okay? Because obviously we're live and it's going to take me 10 minutes to put a screw on. So if anyone has any um, question, okay, let me check. I think this screwdriver is a bit big. Crap. I should change the head, shouldn't I? Guys, I'm not always going to talk, otherwise I'm going to tire myself out, okay? So I'm just going to change the screw head because it's too big for this one. If you have the right tool, it makes it a lot easier, you know what I'm saying? So if you've got a screwdriver, and um, there's some people who say sh you should not use a magnetic screwdriver on there. Now, I don't know what you guys think. Uh, I think it's fine, you know. Okay, now the NVMe is in. Take your time, man. Thank you so much. It's me, Nightcaller. Britek, what are you doing here, man? Haven't you got videos to do? I'm sure you're a big YouTuber. You're busy. I'm so, by the way, thank you for coming, for, for tuning in. I am so honored that you're here. I think it's the first time I've got a, an actual tech person on my channel on a live. It was the comment, wasn't it, Britek? Yeah? It was the comment. There'll be more of that where that came from, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> and uh, if you feel free to give me a shout out on your, um, on your channel anytime. Yeah? Okay, right, so M.2 SATA is in. We haven't tested uh, the uh, disk drive yet, so okay, we don't know. So that's the first thing you should do. Now, um, I think we're done now. Now let's put this away again. On the floor, where I could step on it. That's stupid. Okay, the case. Like you know, guys, this case is the Fractal Design R5 Define. Uh, this is the uh, win non-windowed version. I may have to review my non-windowed version because uh, we may be getting some RGB stuff, which was I wasn't planning on. But anyway, so I'm going to leave some of these older SATA cables there because this was already in my pre-existing build, which will make it easier for me. What you should make sure, there's a big mistake a lot of people make when they build a PC for the first time, is these standoffs. First, you have to make sure you know exactly how many standoffs are on your motherboard. And it's okay to double check. You count them, 
you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I think we've got nine here, right? So we've got nine uh, screws. Now, do you absolutely have to put every single screw on? Tell me in the chat, do you have to put every screw on or can you get away with not putting some on or how much do you think? While you ponder over that, now those standoffs are very important. If you do not put these standoffs, you're gonna create contact with the bottom of the case and that's gonna short your motherboard. The other mistake that people make, what is one huge mistake that people make when it comes to standoff? Tell me. Come on, anyone? Should I give you a clue? Yeah? Pliers. Is to get either a plier or some uh, motherboards or some cases will come with its own with its own um, tool to be able to secure that because what you potentially can do is not tighten these standoffs onto the case enough so someday when you're going to take off your motherboard now when you're unscrewing the screw it will also bring it bring with it lift with it the standoffs and then you can't even take your motherboard off that is a huge problem so make sure that you do tighten all your standoffs properly okay so that's a big mistake so yeah i i only do five out of nine nuts i mean peanut nut you're correct i don't think it's necessary for you to put every single screw onto the motherboard but you know some people can get OCD on this and it's fine to do as well for today I may not do all of it just to speed up the process but I will do the main ones probably the four corners and then a middle one if we can all right at least right now what do you guys think the next step now pretend this is a new case although we've got an old DVD drive here what is the next step or the first step if you've got a case which is obviously we've taken the side panels off already uh, what do you think you should do first while well, I drink some water? How's it going so far? Engaging enough? Mm -hmm. We're on webcam, aren't we? Uh, Stealing 5000 asked, what is the difference between normal SSD and SSD M.2? Someone can answer him. Okay, so one is saying PSU, one is saying CPU on the mo motherboard. Now, uh, CPU on the motherboard, you, we would have to do this first if we were doing a full build, but we've already done the build, remember? I side of the case, we've already got the CPU and the um, cooler on and the RAM. We've already done the post test. Power supply first, no. Put everything in mobile, no. Call my assistant. We've done this, everything on the mobile. But yeah, you're right. You wouldn't need to do these things outside of the case if you were doing it the first time. But so, come on, guys. There's something you, you're missing, which is kind of important. You forgot? Okay. And anyone? Da, da, da. Okay, let me have my assistant give it to me. Right, assistant, give me that thing that we need. What in the name? Okay. Oh, aren't you supposed to be the black glove? Okay, why would I need a whatever the heck you call this? Is it a br brush? What kind of brush? I don't need this brush. We use a toothbrush to clean the freaking case. We don't need this brush to paint it now, do we? The other one. Thank you. Guys, come on. What is this? Come on, guys. Come on. You know what this is. Yeah? It's not a sweet. Come on, the IO shield, man. Come on, dudes. Why you need that, LOL? Yeah, the brush. I don't know why I need the brush. Maybe because I'm ugly. All right. You need to put the shield, okay, at the bottom. It is not essential to run a computer, but it does help with um, build, uh, um, reducing dust, okay? Now, also in terms of orientation, Best thing to do is grab your case, sorry, grab your motherboard and check which orientation it should go in. And I think this is the way we should put it in. Do you guys agree? Yeah? And all you need to do is to pop that bad boy in there. Let me put this on the side. Can you see? Yeah. 
we're going to pop that in there now some cheaper motherboards will have terrible terrible um quality io shield you may cut yourself so be careful all you need to do is to slot it in take your time and don't hurt yourself until you snap the whole thing in okay uh. there we go there we go io shield big mistake a lot of people do this how many of you have done this before i have never done this mistake before or have i put down in the comments below how many times do you think i've made this mistake in the last five years if you get the answer right i will send you a chocolate if you invite me on a date public place yeah men date yeah bros date yeah and i'm saying okay so now that's done got our shield in now the fun part is to put our motherboard inside i don't think i've got anything else to do okay now here's a question should you put the power supply in first or should you put a the motherboard in first what do you think let me know in the chat section while i get some more drink <clears throat> Assistant, why are you smirking on the side? You and your stupid black glove. By the way, this black glove appeared in the advanced power supply troubleshoot video. And I had so many comments on there. So I'm thinking about selling it off. But the black glove turned to grey. Now this is going to remain a mystery. And I think I need the internet's help to kind of, you know, solve this mystery. Who and what is the black glove? Some said it was a robot. Some said it was a... Uh, an AI, I don't know. It could be the hand that rocks me to sleep at night. Who knows? Or it could be the one that sneaks into my wallet and takes my one pennies every now and then. Oop, I just burned this. Okay. Okay, PSU first. Easier cable management. Yep, cables. Hmm. Interesting. Now, guys, I will tell you from experience... Um, I don't think it makes a difference in terms of performance uh, and ease which one you put in first but it might make a slight difference if you're using a modular versus non-modular power supply if you're using a non-modular power supply i think probably putting the psu first is fine to do because you can add the cables later on and uh, but it also depends if you've got a micro atx case or an atx case in my case it's big enough Putting either wouldn't make any difference. So that's not really something uh, I can tell you to do in this situation because it will depend on your case. But either way, you know, test it out. See what you're comfortable with. There's no right or wrong, I believe, yeah? Okay, so where were we? Now, okay, now the other question is, we're gonna, for today, I don't think I'm going to start with the uh, PSU. I'm going to start with mo the motherboard. The reason is because in the future I would probably need to swap the PSU, okay? And I will tell you why in a different video. But for right now, we're going to start with the motherboard. Right, grab the motherboard, discharge yourself static wise, and still on the board. And I don't think, if you guys think I've forgotten anything at this stage before putting this motherboard in, let me know. If not, we're going to put the motherboard in, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna crack in. Right, right, take the motherboard carefully. You insert it and try to locate your IO shield. And all you need to do is to Lego this bad boy into its slot. Right, it's down. Now just to make sure it's kind of in the right slots you can push it in don't be too scared to you know manhandle it not too abrupt but i think we're in okay and unfortunately i haven't got a better camera to show you um kind of in because we're only using a webcam i could probably lift this up blimey this is heavy so if you can see maybe the slots are in it's all aligned and now you're done and uh, we get some screws which also should come either with your motherboard or with your case it may vary from uh, make to make but i'm gonna grab some screws 
and there is also an issue with screws believe it or not there are two standards for screws and i do not know the names for these screws but <laughs> when you're inserting a screw which by the way is another tip for you i would advise you before you put the motherboard in because i have had two different types of screws take one screw and make sure before you put motherboard in just try it on the standoff on its own if it fits in nicely do that first before you put the motherboard trust me on this because i've had tr i've tried to put screws with the wrong threads and it's a nightmare and i think paul's hardware did a video on this and about the five things that he hates about pc building five mistakes there's something i'll find the video later and if you guys also follow paul's hardware by the way anyone who follows any other tech people if you want me to give anyone a shout out and if they deserve it let me know more than happy to do this because i hope someday someone will reciprocate for me do you know what i'm saying do you know what i'm saying yeah and now the pressure of putting a screw while the whole world is watching oh my god oh my god okay now this is going to be quite boring get rid of that cd player no bro i'm not going to get rid of it and i've explained why in my videos there is a reason why i still have this i've made a tutorial on how to burn a cd and there are some other reasons why we still need uh you and users probably will never use a dvd uh, you know um uh, drive and i agree with you don't get it but anyone who's a technician like me the best technician in the world if the world only consists of me by myself then we need a dvd drive and i think that screw did not go in properly so let me try this one and uh, so yeah you guys don't need a dvd drive you're fine but i do need one unfortunately Okay, while I'm doing screws, anyone can tell me if there's any, any interesting questions. How are you guys doing, man? I don't know if I were you. Would I be bored by now? This is very tedious. I don't know why I accepted to do this. Man, you guys suckered me into this nonsense. Maybe we'll do this in two parts, yeah? Because this is quite long. And I'm already getting tired from all this talking. Okay, so anyway, guys... Where are you based? Where are you from? What country? Let me know. And uh, have you built a computer before? What have you built? What are your specs? Now I've got the wrong screws here. Son of a mother. I got the wrong screws, people. They won't go in. Sir, I have changed RAM, hard disk, and what did and did whatever you did, but still no display. Okay, bro. Um, I don't know what your issue is specifically. You're going to have to give more details on this. And there's something wrong with these. Why are these screws not going in? Have I got the wrong screws? That one's all right. Even the standoffs looks like they're two different dimensions. What the heck? This is annoying. So I've got one, two three um do you know what that will do for now if you can get one more maybe somewhere on the on the side there do you know what that'll hold i'm guys i'm gonna add the rest of the screws later this is not going anywhere so i'm quite happy with this okay okay um now that the motherboard is in there's a couple of things that i should have done before and i forgot to show you on the side, at the back, we have a couple of mounts for SSD drives. So what I'm going to do is remove these thumb screws and put two SSD drives there. These two I'm going to leave for one will be the Linux, the other one will be the Mac OS. The, our main drive will be inside, okay? So I'm going to do this on the side, or I may ask one of my assistants to do this so we can speed up the process. Assistant! Right, and we can continue with our tutorial here. We've got two brand new SSDs, okay? And uh, these are SanDisk solid state drive. By the way, Amazon affiliate links in the comment section below. So if you use my affiliate links, it will give me a small feedback. It won't cost you anything extra. All right. 
So these SSDs, I mean, the other question is, do you guys think there's a performance difference that's um, justifiable for paying a lot more than than normal kind of, you know, SanDisk, uh, not low end, but these are budget ones, because I don't think there's a performance difference that we can benefit from if you want to pay something twice the, uh, you know, the price. These are good enough. Anyway, let me know. So there's a yellow sticker which you need to remove before you use. And how it's going to go in is um, this way. There's four holes. You can align with these four holes at the back. And when it comes to SSDs, there are so many ways of putting SSDs. You can use Velcro, you can use stickers, you can use whatever the heck you want because they're so light. So don't stress over SSDs, okay? All right. Okay, one of my assistants, if you kindly take a screwdriver. Where's my assistant? Assistant! Hello? Glove, you here again? Where's X? Where's X? I have rubbish assistants, man. I'm telling you, I need to sack them. Maybe I should start paying them first before I sack them so I can, you know, justify. Okay, take small screws these tiny ones here and one two three four or just two is fine just to put two these ones here see this one the flat one this one yeah okay do it on the floor see which one fits find the right screw uh, this one and this as well on the floor do it okay okay right what's the next step guys Okay, what are we doing? How are we doing? Next step. So what we got? Um, Athlon. Okay. Anyone who wants to give me a super chat, feel free. You know, everything we get, we'll put back in the channel. So it'll benefit you guys. All right. My assistant needs an assistant. Bro, you have no idea. You're so right. Glove. What the frick, Glove? You're intruding in my personal space, bro. All right. Do you ever get random freezing issues with Linux, specifically Mint Cinnamon? When I've used Linux, um, I did not get any... Actually, no, I'm lying. I think I got one time I got a freezing within one year. And I'm not sure if it was to do with Linux or it was to do with one of my components, my power supply possibly, because do you remember I had an issue with my power supply and, and that uh, computer had Linux before. So I don't know. Uh, I don't think it was Linux. But this is what we're going to find out in this series because we're going to do extensive usage of the series, right? Okay, so guys, now at this stage, we are going to put in the power supply. So two questions. One, fan up or fan down? What do you guys think? So fan down would mean this way. Fan up would mean this way. Is there a difference? Come on, let me know in the chat or in the comments below. Britek, thank you so much for dropping by. I appreciate so much. You know, if I was a, in your shoes and I am in your shoes, I don't know if I would even go to a text person uh, live session. So I appreciate so much, but I will make an effort to go and I'll pop to yours. So hopefully we'll catch up. Yeah. Thank you so much. Everyone go and subscribe to Britek09. All right. Down, Dr. Jiro. Yes, peanut, not down. Uh, hot air rises down. Okay. All right. For the most part, guys, you are right. And but this also depends on your specific case. And uh, as in the actual case, no pun in intended, what the airflow is like. Since my airflow is coming from the front, we've got two fans pushing this way. We've got a fan which is pulling air from inside, pushing out. And uh, this fan is just pushing down right now. But at, in the later probably stage, we're going to put a, an upright cooler and we'll have fan pushing probably a fan pulling and then obviously this one is pushing out so yeah it's kind of in one direction so it would make no sense for me to put the fan uh, for the power supply up because that would kind of pull hot air in you're correct so we put it this way so it pulls air into the power supply and it pushes it out there at the back of the case you're correct and also this case has got a bottom um, it's got a bottom filter for dust and uh, it's designed to be able to put other fans or radiators at the bottom here. Okay. So the screw up, 
The other question is, and I need to tell you this because I was going to do another video just based on this, but let me just tell you. Now, I did a very brief calculation from UK PC Pot Picker and uh, it gave me 489 something watts, right? And I did another one on, uh, I think it was newegg.com. You know newegg, you know, the guys from Linus Tech Tips, Pulse Hardware, uh, Bitweed, they use newegg a lot. Um, they gave a different valuation was 556 watt okay now based on that i will tell you just briefly what you need to do is to estimate how much wattage you're going to use and because you may get different values on different sides but since i know i'm going to max this computer out i'm going to add more stuff if the estimate gives you 500 ish watts do not get a 500 power uh, power supply don't get a 500 watt power supply. Don't get a 550. Don't even get a 600. I would give you the formula. You should give it 1.5 times as a rule of thumb. So if it estimates about 500 watts, get a 750 watts. That's 1.5 times. The reason is because you may decide to add another card in the future. You may decide to add more disk drives. You may decide to add a, a, a liquid cooler. You may decide to add uh, LED lightings. You may decide to overclock your system. So there will be need for room of enough voltage to justify. And it's okay to go 1.5 times. I will say even to you, if you want to go up to two times the power supply, probably you can do that. But do not get a 2000 watt power supply if the estimate is 500. That would be overkill. But I think rule of thumb, up to 1.5, uh, 750 for my need we will have to put 750 which means today for this tutorial I'm gonna put this 550 because we've got nothing else going on there but I will be swapping this power supply later on because I'm also waiting for a company to send me a couple of power supplies as a review which we will include in here okay so do bear that in mind so this is a modular no so this is a non-modular power supply all the cords are kind of you know together this is why for today's tutorial we're not going to do much of a cable management otherwise it'll be too long so we're gonna just put that in this way so fan down back there switch there make sure it's off and all you need to do is to place it in there like that Make sure the holes are aligned. Can you see that? Oh, you don't think you can see that. There you go. Oops, I'm bursting my thing. Just looking for thumb, some thumb screws. Don't worry, I did not leave you. Thumb screws, people. Thumb screws, thumb screws. Right, we need some thumb screws. Um. I like thumb screws, they're handy. And I think it's it's a well worth investment if you are gonna be troubleshooting your computer a lot. You don't wanna be messing with, you know, other types of screws. So I'm just gonna put a couple of thumb screws in there just to hold it down. Oops. Oh crap. Oh man. That's the wrong screw. Okay. Assistant, glove or X, whoever you are, come and grab me some thumb screws. If you find any. Can you find any? Okay, I just found one. No thumb screws. That's the wrong size. Crap, this is also the wrong size. I think this is not the standard ones. Oops, it's dropped. Let's find another one. Just gonna put a silver one. I hope it fits. Find me a silver one. There we go. We got one in there. My assistant can't find a silver screw. Anyone wants to offer to be my assistant, please. If you can, if you can bring me one thousand extra subscribers, you can become my assistant. All right. And again, if you could find 1,000 extra subscribers, you should start your own YouTube channel. Isn't that right?
Man, none of these screws are working. What the heck is going on today? Of course, I can't put a screw in. Okay, I'm gonna give you an advice. Don't do this live, all of you. This is bare frustrating. I'm sweating like an animal. Animal! Oh, no, no, no. I, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I'm all good. One loss. Maybe you can't see it because I'm not showing you. But I got it. I got it. Yes! Haha! -ha. Ladies and gentlemen, a live demonstration of how to put thumb screws in power supply. What do you think? They're not very aesthetic, are they? Because they're silver. I, I'm gonna swap them with black later, okay? Okay, so that's that. And, uh, whew! Now we got this out of the way. Let's try to connect some cables. So, what would you connect first? What would you connect first? Tell me, is there an order? Anyone? Is there an order? Okay. There isn't any specific order. This is where your cable management skills will come in. You should really be routing this through the back, the grommet there. There's a there's a cutout here, so we should try and do this. Yeah, power supply comes with some. If not, the case should also be included some. Right. Okay. We'll try to route certain cables. Okay. So I think I'm gonna have to get my uh, assistants out now. So we'll swap again. Assistant, going to need you. Where are you? Do not suck, please. There we go. Well, hello. I'm sweating. Really bad. Woo! Okay, I need tissue. Be back in a minute. My assistant, you can show some crap. You can, uh, you know, show them. Ask them what they want to see. We'll take some questions. Okay, let's take some questions. Feel me? Oh, I, I'll take some questions. Don't do the live one. Do not do it. It is too hard. Or maybe we should. How about we make a challenge? Like, they should build a PC in 30 minutes online, live, from scratch. I don't think it's going to happen. But if it does, <laughs> million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a cap. All right then, my assistant is laughing. Assistant, why are you laughing? Okay, any questions? Let's take some questions. Because I'm tired. Guys, I don't think I can complete this. We'll, we'll hook up. I think, okay, we'll try to at least plug everything and turn it on, okay? Uh, to see some pause. But I don't think I can do cable management today. And I hope you don't mind because I'm really, really tired. It's not easy. I don't want to do this. And I don't think I'm going to suggest this to you ever again. I, I give you a choice. If I give you guys a choice, you're always going to try to get me screwed, don't you? <laughs> Please don't do that. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, questions. Uh, CPU first. CPU power first, then 24 pin rest follow. Okay. Um, CPU or motherboard 24 pin? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Do whichever you feel you can work with first. Um, but because the CPU is further away from the um, power supply, in terms of distance it has to travel when you uh, push it through, you might be right. Let's start with the CPU. At the same time, there's one thing I forgot to mention to you uh, when you are going to buy your power supply is a lot of people, they underestimate the length of the cable for the CPU plug. Uh, it's okay. Come on over. I'm going to show you. Uh, now, it's okay if you are 
not bothered about routing your cable through the back so the CPU cable should reach okay usually however a lot of people write at the back and then if it's not long enough that can be a problem so this is an issue when you have non-modular power supplies this issue is not there if you get modular power supplies where you can get custom length um, you know uh, CPU cables however there's another workaround there are extensions you can get I am not entirely sure on the documentation in terms of how secure are the extensions how are, are the connections between the plug and the other bit that you're going to plug in uh, if anyone has documentation on this let me know uh, unless you're doing some mass um, like overclocking but anyway let's start writing some stuff so what you should do at this stage if you can see maybe you can see maybe my assistant can come down and let's see if you can see yeah okay we'll put it here so we can see what we're doing now at this stage as much cable routing as you can through the cut out do that now before it's too late so we're going to put that pin the for uh, the um, eight pin cpu plug okay first just push it out and uh I'm gonna just gonna pull it from the back and because I'm gonna have to swap this power supply soon I'm not gonna do too much of a good job for cable management today but I'm just gonna show the first bit and yes you can also push the 24 pin one okay and if you remember we have a couple of SSDs at the back or at least we will so you make sure you get whatever SSD ports for your power push that back as well okay and uh, really and truly that's the main ones that you need to for the back now in terms of the graphics card one for the PCI we've got the two times six and then the two additional ones which is eight eight um, again you probably should try to reroute it okay at the back because you need to bring that back in and let's swap it around so now these are the ones that can, can you show there okay okay so you start with the CPU okay go back show the big version assistant where's your assistant assistant okay so this we need to push it back into this top right here because this is where the CPU socket is so try to wiggle it through if it doesn't go through you can break that open in two okay and push it one at a time but I think we should be fine done this before I think I'm wrong we need to break it in two it's not going through Ugh. these make these things damn so hard okay we'll just push half in at a time right okay side here can you show push the first half went through then the next half and we'll have to reconnect it on the other side these are a bit tricky sometimes because of the placement of these cutouts it's not the simplest of things but it can be done it's like an adult version of Lego and my rubber grommet came out but that's not a huge problem we can adjust this later I'm not gonna waste time uh, with adjusting this micro stuff today this rubber grommet is annoying in fact you probably can get in fact another tip is to actually remove the rubber grommet right let's do this let's kind of push the rubber grommet down we can do this later there's more space now and there you go we've pushed in this you can adjust later okay so I'm not gonna go to the side just yet because I'm just gonna push as much stuff from the back as, as I can now we want to reroute the 24 pin cable which is gonna be here so this is where it's gonna go through can you see my little finger finger it's fingerlicious we push that back in there there's a cutout, obviously. See the cutout? 
push that back in and then we will do the PCI cable and that one is going to be at the bottom I believe yeah there's a lot of cables man I don't think we can have electrical wireless stuff can we yeah signal okay RF signal fine but anything else not good okay right that's the three main ones guys I'm not gonna push anything else today okay all right let's go back in here hopefully we can at least do a post okay now 24 pin is here you can see that oops see daisy the 24 pin is here I think I haven't got lighting enough there but you know where it is the 24 pin I'm just gonna plug that in okay you can see, you can see that yeah fantastic now let's show the um, 8 pin get some light in there light 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 is there any light blimey can you see that no we can't oh man need some light Okay, guys, I'll show you these. I think you probably can see a little bit there. Here you go. It's there. Right? Sorry about the lighting system. We need to find a better system next time. So I'm just going to plug the CPU pin. It's a bit difficult. I have to orient it the right way. So we might struggle with this a bit. Oh, uh, lordy, 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 lordy. Do not do this live. This is a bad idea. Who? Decided on this. Why did you guys want me to suffer? You didn't ask Linus Tech Tips to do this, did you? Oh, Paul's hardware. Why do I have to suffer? Why? And I think what I said to you before in terms of this cable, I think is too short to rear out at the back. It's not coming through. Or am I doing something wrong? Should be long enough. Guys, I'm just going to try to plug it in from this end because otherwise it's going to be too difficult for me. And I'll show you in a bit. It's a bit tight, I'll be honest with you. So I may need to bring it to the front. This is quite hard to do right now. I can't even see that. Bloody hell. So you might need to reconsider rerouting your cable from a different angle or even connecting do you know what we're gonna waste time today i'm not going to do that i'm pushing it back in the rubber grommet or not who cares actually let me get the rubber grommet out because we just need to turn our power supply on today that's for post okay so i'm just going to connect it directly because this is the wrong cable size and like I mentioned we're going to swap that PSU at some point here we go okay it's plugged in uh, let's see if we can get some light in, in this bad boy where's the damn light okay can you see that it's plugged in okay make sure it goes in the right way all right so what next what did I forget um you guys still here? What did I forget? <coughs> Woo, hot. All right. What we need to do now, something missing here. What goes in here? Come on guys, what goes in here? And we have to take these off, yes? And that little thing called the graphics card. Okay, so Check which um, cover you're going to have to take off. And I believe you probably have to take off these two. Let's double check that. The slot goes in there. Yeah, it's the first top two. So the the previous board that we had, the motherboard, the card went through here. Are you watching what you're filming? <laughs> Assistant or not? Thumb screws. We're going to remove these guards. Okay. Are you shaking, Assistant? There we go. Get this fan out of the way. Fan plug. Ah! Oh, blimey. And we're gonna slot the graphics card in there. 
Oh, blimey. I messed up. There you go. Let's put it this way. And click it in. I think it's gone in. Let's check. Is it gone in? It sounds like it's gone in, but it hasn't because I'm an idiot. No, it has not gone in. It's here. It goes in here. Okay. See the problem. Right. You see the problem? The problem, guys, is it wasn't the first two. Can they see? It wasn't the first top two. It was the second and the third guard we're supposed to take. I did take it, but I forgot to take these screws on. So now it should fit in. Man. Oh, never do this again. Never again. <laughs> All right. We've slotted it in and uh, there we go. Now that damn thing is too short. Oh man. I'm going to leave this as is. Look at this cable management. Thumbs up. Anyone who likes this cable management, thumbs up. I'm going to leave it there like a bad boy. I'm savage like that. Yo! Okay. So we got the graphics card in. Okay. Now just have to put at least one thumb screw to secure it. But you should put both because the graphics card is quite heavy. Can they see the thumb screw? Man, this is not as easy as I thought. Okay, I need a screwdriver for this one. Holy macaroni. Guys, we're almost there. Okay. Only about 20 hours to go, so be patient. All right. Our IP likes. Who said that? Stealing 5,000. Kenny! Is that Kenny? Likes. Okay, unsub. Please don't. Sub. And like. Okay, one. Uh, okay, we'll leave one because we are get cracking on. All right. Okay, now in terms of testing for a post, guys. Post. If you've been following so far, what do we need to plug in to test for a post? Because I'm not going to do any other thing. We already over an hour in this live session. This is too much. I'm done. I'm tired. Just need to post this. Just need to turn it on. No disk. Uh, we don't probably even need to put the live line, Linux USB disk to test this. We can just do a post. What do you think I'm missing now? Huh? Switch. I'm not going to jump start it. I'm just going to switch. So come over, uh, you've seen it on um, my uh, outside uh, pole. Oh no, no, I forgot something. Guys, have a look, have a look. There's something I forgot. What did I forget? It will not post properly. What did I forget? Yeah, guys, you're right. That CPU power cable is terrible. This is clearly not a good power supply for this system or the cable. Uh, this is temporary, okay? But we should not do this. I probably can't even route it down there. Um, I wouldn't probably ev even be able to route this that way because I think it's too short. I don't want to unplug it. Forget that. What did I forget? Come on, I've forgotten something. First of all, I'm going to just plug this in because we're going to turn the switch on. Where's the oh, GFP one? I think it's the first two. I think it's these two. Um, if you refer back to my previous video, I'm just going to put the switch onto the plus and minus um, power power switch so we can jump start it with the switch later, okay? Power the GPU. Well done, Jay and Peanut. You are absolutely correct. And like an idiot, I did not do that. So we'll do this. So you guys do know something about building a PC, huh? And here you are, wasting my time, getting me to sweat to do something that you already know. What kind of people are you? Jeez, man. And they say the internet is nice. They con me. The internet is not nice. They get you to do stuff that they already know, just so they can tell you how rubbish you are. Man. And I, like a sucker, fell for it. Oh, you're the... Oh, blimey.
Okay. It's in. Yeah. Fantastic. I think we're ready. Okay. Okay. I'm tired. So what we're going to do is connect the power supply. All right. Turn this around. We're going to connect two things. We're going to connect the HDMI cable to the GPU and the power cord to the power supply. Where's the power supply? It's down here. Just going to connect that. So I'll turn you this way to connect it. And moment of truth. Oh, we're almost done. Where's my other assistant for the finale? We've turned the switch on. And if I haven't forgotten anything, now we're going to put the screen onto HDMI input. And uh, if I haven't forgotten anything, I'm hoping this will turn on. Yes, do you guys think it will turn on? Yes or no? Don't shake. Ready, steady. Yeah! We got connection. At least we got something. Now, are we going to get a beep? Are we going to get a beep? Beep! Yeah, and we got boot! We got boot! Yeah! I'm happy. Do you guys want to see, you know, the actual USB with the Linux? Do, do you want me to boot in? Let's do that. Why not? Okay, we'll off that. We could at least get onto the internet, couldn't we? Where's my Linux USB? Hey! <laughs> Linux! Where are you? Of course now I'm not gonna find it. Got it! Yes! Where is it? Where's the hole? Where's the hole? <laughs> okay. We're gonna connect to the internet. We need an internet cable. One internet cable coming up. Oh, who took off my internet cable? Come on, people. Why would you do that to me? Uh, internet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can log on to the internet and watch myself. What do you guys think? Should I do that? That'd be a bit silly now, wouldn't it? I hope I've... I'm using an extension here. Okay, once again, um, I can't see you guys right now on the screen, so I don't know if we're actually shooting the right stuff. I'm hoping we are, but once again, let's turn it on. Hopefully, we can log into Linux. Okay, it's booting. We need the uh, keyboard and mouse. Where's my other assistant? I'm going to suck that other assistant because they're never here. I have to keep calling them. It's beeped. Keyboard and mouse. Mouse and keyboard, mouse and keyboard assistant. Okay, we got Linux Mint. Can we show this? Right? My other assistant is never here. I'm gonna plug this in and boot it up. This is horrible. Let's boot in, enter, done. Mouse, thank you. I don't even know if we can, see, if you guys can see me, hopefully. Yes, we're booting into Linux. Can you see this? Fantabulous. All right. Very happy. Do we have internet? If I've connected the right thing. Um, we have. All right. So there we go. We've got the internet quite chuffed. All right. Let's switch this back to our live because we don't even know if we, we're seeing us, are we? Maybe Adam, maybe um, one of my assistants Maybe someone could tell me if you can see me or not. No one is telling me because my assistants are terrible. Okay, look at that filming. Assistant, you're rubbish. Okay, back on me. Because I'm important. Okay. Build a couple pieces. Okay, fantastic. All right. Woo! Just for that. If you guys don't give me 1,000 likes for one hour and no close to 10 minutes live built for you to get a successful boot live first i don't i don't think i'm the first one to do this okay i don't know and also bring me one thousand one thousand more subscribers okay just kidding two thousand will do okay guys thank you so much for watching uh i'm tired and i hope 
this has kind of taught you something. I was a bit worried. It was a little bit slow, it was a bit nervous, and I don't recommend anyone to do this unless you want success on YouTube, in which case you should definitely do this because this is awesome. I would definitely watch this and troll the guy. If you know anyone who wants to build this, tell me their channel name. I'm going to go on there and make it difficult for them. Give them all the wrong answers. What do you think? Yeah? Okay. So, let me know what you think. Uh, we will continue this because we need to install um, you know connect all the disks do better cable management I probably would wish to wait for the better CPU processor so the PSU not the CPU to complete this build and uh, we still have to do the uh, Mac OS Linux drive install Mac OS Linux drive the Mac OS installation USB drive okay um, so yeah let me know what you think um, there is the uh, troubleshoot uh, a computer up there the list I will put in the link below link above and description below and also our series this night part 18 we've got 17 parts before and there's a lot more to come feel free to join us share this video leave me a comment leave me a like and let me know what you would want to watch next but we're continuing with the series and if you like the live stuff let me know i will think about it i will need some dosh you know to help me out so if you want to contribute anyone who wants to give me a super chat feel free to do so and uh, yeah use my amazon affiliate links and i think i'm going to take my leave Thank you so much for tuning in. It was really, really uh, honored. I feel honored that you guys tuned in and gave me all this time. And uh, Britek, if you're watching the last part, thank you so much for tuning in one more time. Uh, so that's it. My name was Ash. This was Heal My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Don't forget to subscribe, enable the bell notification icon. Until next time, peace out. Now watch me switch off the whole thing. Okay. All right. <sighs> Never again, never again.